Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play AVP 2 Primal Hunt. This is episode 3. So last time we successfully returned the artifact to the pods, only for a predator to then steal it from pod 5, and now we are evacuating the pod because they're just going to dump the whole thing because of the xenomorphs that have also broken in, separate from the predator. Probably following the predator though. So maybe I gotta turn the sensitivity down. I wasn't noticing it last time, but this time it feels a little too high. Which might be why I keep missing with the pulse rifle. But yeah, it seems like this is just gonna be another segment where they all just spawn a couple feet away from you. Also, as a side note, I played a little bit of the uh, multiplayer. I think I mentioned this before, when there was only like five people in a server. But the attack speed on Xenomorphs is just as shitty in multiplayer as it is in single player. Because as soon as they get close enough to kill you, they can just spam click and it will kill you in a second. Especially if they use the stun first. <laughs> Yeah, the shotgun's good against these, except when there's more than one. Also weird to see them actually stand up on their legs, instead of scuttling. Okay, what do we have to work with right now? We have the pulse rifle, we have the shotgun, and the pistols, that's it. But yeah, the the pump time on the shotgun is getting me killed here. It takes too long. Oh, a note. To whom it may concern, if you're the jerk that keeps leaving half-eaten donuts lying around, can you please grow up? Yesterday I found one of the maintenance under the roof leak. Okay, that went a little better. I mean, I guess it went a lot better since I didn't die. All oh, right, the staircase. The staircase is dangerous. <laughs> they come from above or below? See, like, when they're farther back like that, I actually have time to get another shot off. But this staircase is just asking for them to spawn one floor below me. <laughs> I was gonna say I have to remember I have flares too, but I don't have any right now. Why are they all runners, also? Like every single. I just noticed I can jump while I'm dead. <laughs> the camera still jumps. But yeah, like every single one we're running into here is a runner. Kind of funny that their jump attack just does not work very well. They keep getting stuck on walls when they do it. But compared to the base game, I feel like here I need a quick save after every encounter because of bullshit. Okay. Gotta love how they can just slide while attacking. I'm gonna wait for my flashlight to recharge. Cargo bay, assist with the evacuation.
their real weakness is trying to get over these railings. They either glide over them or they get stuck on them completely. Okay, and doors open. But, some ammo down here. Be nice to find some health again. Or like a real weapon. Wow. I didn't realize how much better the shotgun works on warriors. I was gonna say drones, but these are not drones. I guess there is no drones in this. <laughs> shotgun just floating and then slowly bounces down. Yeah, if they get close enough, I'll just explode myself with the acid. Am I supposed to use the pistol here? Like, is that the real solution? Because I feel like that shouldn't be the solution, but it might be. There's probably less splashback with the pistols. That actually did go better. Came out with more health this time. So we grab that. Alright. Got some warriors coming from both sides. Oh yeah, also I'm worried the door might crush me. It's like the way they just run over anything in front of them. <laughs> Even if it doesn't make sense. Maybe the pulse rifle will be better here. Ah! Nope. They just leaped past me and hit me anyway. And like, yeah, I, I don't have a good weapon. The flamethrower would be so useful here. But they have deigned to take it away. Oh good, I have one health. Means if I step on an acid pool here, I'm dead. Shotgun shells. That's it. That's all you got for me in this storage room. Burn. How did that one piece splash so far behind me? Yeah, I'm not saving there with one health, so we gotta get through this with more than one health. I guess there's not a smart direction to go, though, because they come from both sides. Like, two from each. See, like, if I get hit, I might as well just reload, because I'm gonna die. And if I keep moving, more of them just spawn in. This time there was runners showing up. I guess that worked. Just funnel them into the awkward stairs. I don't think I got them all, though. I think there's one down here somewhere still. Oh. Uh. That I can quick save. Oh. Also, really don't have a lot of ammo. Like, I'm almost out of shotgun shells. So, we actually do need that ammo from over there. And 
I'm still, like, flicking backwards to see if something spawned behind me whenever something pops up. There are explosive barrels. Okay, now I am out of shells. I think I have one shot left. So, I mean, we're still better armed than when we were going through here as Harrison, but not by much, it turns out. I gotta go so slow. Wow, there were still three more behind them? Jesus, fuck. I mean, there's a sentry gun there. I think I have to run up and hit it to turn it on. Wait, why is it not here now? Or is that another corner there? Well, that was like 16 shells at least. Like there's two explosive barrels here I could use. Didn't do a fucking thing to him and he was standing right next to it. Also, I exploded this time. Man, I just don't understand how you can fuck up an expansion this badly. Like yeah, obviously not the same developer. But, like, you think there'd at least be some oversight. Then again, maybe not. This could be entirely the publisher's call. I think there is, like, health over here, though. There's something behind that box. There's also something right here. Pulse rifle ammo. Now, I am trapping myself, but I'm also bundling them, and I think there's only one more. Is there not? I thought there was one that got stuck. Now I'm going to 7 health. I mean, they were just throwing health and ammo at me left and right at the beginning. Pistol ammo. There's the sentry gun. I don't know how to make it work. There doesn't seem to be like a turn on button. It just shows you how much ammo it has and it doesn't fire. How is there not like a health pack anywhere here? I don't know how this one is not, like, melting me. I was safer just not shooting it. Just standing on its head. So there's nothing in here. This is a waste of time to come in here. This is another one of those, like, episodes that's just gonna be one room. Can I just leave? Can we just say fuck all this? And hope that if I go far enough forward, it will stop spawning enemies. Or, you know, give me some help. There is a ladder over here that actually works.
And it seems like all that is just death over there. There's no useful items. Okay, like, do I have to press some kind of turret activate button in the controls here? Pick up slash deploy sentry gun is T. Why can't it just work? Why do I have to pick it up? Oh, good. They came from behind. Did I save before destroying the sentry or after? After, I think. Are they just gonna fall down here, you think? So yeah, I guess I was supposed to be using the sentries, but they never introduced that mechanic at all. Alright, well, now we know it's a thing, I can try to get to the sentry and use it. I just don't understand why it doesn't work by itself. I think I instantly destroyed my sentry by shooting it. So yeah, there's no way to get that and use it on the same wave. Just have to run over here and then retreat and use the explosive barrel, I guess. Never mind, they do spawn from both sides. God. This is gonna take forever. I thought this was gonna be short, but like, shit like this is what's eating up all the time. And again, why make them spawn so close to you? Why can't they spawn on the opposite side of the room and then run over to you? So you actually have time to go, oh shit, here they come. Good, I found armor, but no help. Okay, I'm watching the motion tracker. Not a single ping until they were already too close. One hell. Also, there's nowhere on the screen where it, like, indicates that you're carrying a sentry gun. The only saving grace here is that these xenomorphs don't know just how far that leap can throw them. Otherwise, they'd be jumping at you from across the entire room. Okay, so now that goes on the bottom of the screen. And we can drop it, and it will maybe shoot stuff. It would have been nice to know. I mean, I guess that's something I should have read the manual for. If I had the manual, which of course I don't. But that's like where it would have told you this thing, because there's no in-game introduction to it. But you'd think there'd be like a, hey, set up that sentry gun to cover our backs or something at the start. You know, a tutorial-like thing that is not just a tutorial. Okay. Max health, got our armor back. Things are less grim. Oh boy, that's a Praetorian. I don't have... What the fuck am I supposed to do there? I don't have anything that can hurt a Praetorian. And, you know, he's just gonna run and slap me in the back non-stop. You can't get away from them once they catch you. Okay, I'm gonna set up the sentry, like, here. Maybe the sentry can hurt him. Real smooth animation. 
I mean, it's nice to have access to the sentries now. I don't know why we didn't as the Marines. But yeah, like, I don't have the minigun, which is the only thing that can hurt him. And I can't tell if it's supposed to be some dumb bullshit where I have to lead it around the room and shoot explosive barrels. Because it's kind of too fast for that. But, regardless of what I have to do, I have to get rid of the scrubs first. But yeah, like, it moves at a speed that doesn't really allow you to... That was an accidental right-click. Allow you to, uh... Kite it. It's faster than you are. Okay, so he comes from over here. They come from over here. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Wow, I'm glad they really gave me that health. It's, uh, gonna keep me alive for a long time, it turns out. What about this thing? Is that explosive? Is that explosive? Yeah, no, I can see the bullets pinging off of the Praetorian, so it's not gonna hurt them. But, what if we put the sentry back here, so that it hits them as they're coming out? Also, is there actually a minigun around here somewhere that I'm missing? Ammo. keeps giving me shitty ammo when what I really need is new weapons. I don't think there's anything on the upper shelves. It's a little awkward to get to them. Alright, I have no idea what I'm going to do to actually survive this. Also, I should heal again, because there's still some health left in that bag. Did that give me, like, one health? I know the wait for the elevator while fighting off enemies is a pretty stereotypical FPS thing, but generally when that's the case, the enemies are not way faster than you. And also not invincible. I was actually hoping those triple barrels would be enough to kill him. The other thing that's nice is that they're at least not using their fucking tail stun, because that would be an insta-kill. I was hoping that he wouldn't be able to fit, but... 
Those boxes are too close to the wall for me to hide behind. I love him not being able to tell which surface he should be on. I don't even feel bad about cheesing this. This is fucking stupid. I think the Praetorian is directly behind this. I can see him on the motion tracker. It's just him left. I wonder if AP pistol rounds will hurt him. Seemed like it was hurting him. It wasn't doing the sparks. I can't even tell if this is hitting him. I'm not even getting sparks. Well, I got him. I know I can kill it, and I probably have to to get the elevator to show up. Cause like, is it here? Oh, it is here. That was awful. What a stupid section. <laughs> Like, I don't know, there were some tough parts in the main game, but I never felt super annoyed at them for it. Want the tour. Except maybe the snipers. Anything inside or outside of the perimeter that doesn't respond to IFF. There will be hell to pay if one of the technical staff forgets his badge. We'll worry about that if it happens. For now. Good. Dunya, we're leaving the pod. Yes, sir. And Dimitri, he's already evacuated? No. We'll reassess once we're off the pod. But Dimitri... Hasn't been heard from since he was sent to secure the breach. Aliens are still flooding into the pod. We have no choice but to assume that he has failed. Chekhov, he was supposed to be with you. He never arrived, Dunya. General, we cannot just leave him. Dunya, you have your orders. I will not allow you nor anyone else to sacrifice... Dimitri, proceed to the cargo bay. We're evacuating pod 5. Already on my way. ETA, two minutes. Request you secure the area until I arrive. The cargo bay will be secured. Very well. Dimitri, Dunya will hold the bay until you arrive. I like how Yvonne is just casually holding a grenade launcher in one hand. I will see you both on the ground. You have my word on it, General. Hey, can I borrow that, uh, arms... lifter? Maybe? Cause I got six health and, like, nothing to stay alive with. Okay, we have a big-ass minigun. Defend the cargo bay until Dimitri arrives. <laughs> the second they reach you, you're dead. Oh, good. Uh, I think I have an auto save though. Nope. Never mind. The auto save is even farther back. Great.
Like, is it possible to get to the elevator without getting hit 17 times? Got fucking crushed by the door. But yeah, so I have to go into this defense section with no health, so if any of them reach me, I'm dead. I want the turret armed for any right, quick save. Can I please like look around for help before this starts? Seems like it doesn't start until I pick up that turret. Except there's nothing in here. There's no help at all. Oh, you can keep it spinning if you hold the right click. It seems like you have to aim lower, though, because I feel like I'm not hitting them when they're running at me. Yeah, like, crosshair actually on them is not hitting them. I have to aim a little bit under them. Oh boy. Well, there goes the sentry gun. It's the ones that come from the side that are the problem. Put this like right fucking here. So, they just have like a 50-foot swing radius, apparently. Because they're destroying the sentry by trying to take a swing at me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's making this thing so janky. It just like, doesn't hit them, sometimes. Also, I hope the sentry isn't going to kill me. It's very likely it is. What if I put it... here, so it can cover the ones that get close? My god. It's just like instant death when they get close. Like, how is it the automatic sentry is more useful than the actual minigun? Realize it, but this thing actually has limited ammo. Which means I can't just keep firing. Like, the only reason I died there is because one of them shoved the other one to the side.
Like, how is it you make a turret section, which is usually like a dumb, you know, moment of power fantasy where you could just gun down everything, how do you make that bad and difficult? At this point, it feels like it's down to RNG. Depending on whether they decide to leap or push each other. And if a runner gets close, I can't shoot it. How is this getting harder? <laughs> Should I only shoot them when they get really close? No, that doesn't work because there's too many of them. I'm still not understanding why I'm not hitting them with the crosshair directly on them. Maybe the runners just have a weird hitbox. See, I can't even quick save without getting off the gun, and I'll die if I get off the gun. So I gotta aim really low on the runners, like, between their legs. Nope, never mind. If they're straight on, I can't hit them. God, this is the worst section yet. What a terrible expansion. I know I've said it a couple times now, but it's very true. I hear one that's, like, behind me. Like, it's not enough that there's so many of them, but also I have no good weapons and I'm gonna run out of ammo. I'm trying to see if I should just wait until they get to the line to shoot them. Okay, that's how much she didn't even grab the gun. Like, I just can't hit them from the distance. Not reliably. And 
And like there, that's just bad RNG because he decided to jump on top of the fucking turret. I don't know, sometimes it feels like they don't die at all, and others they just like melt. Quick save. Am I supposed to use this in short bursts too? Like, does it actually become more inaccurate? I think the problem is that the reticle does not show you your recoil at all. Is one of them just like a pair of legs over there? Okay, so contrary to how you would use a minigun, you're supposed to use it in short bursts. Even though, like, one of the whole things about a minigun is the rotating barrels mitigate recoil. Jesus. You should have reported in sooner. The general assumed. Believe me, I tried. I made a detour through the excavation storage before going to the walkway. I must have just missed Chekhov. Excavation? The explosion? I sealed the breach. Permanently. <laughs> oh, it looks like our scientist friends will be bringing water up the lifts from now on. Rykov told Eisenberg connecting to the pumping station was a risk. As usual, he would not listen. Sounds like someone else I know. Lucky for you. Now let's get the hell off of this pod. I have a promise to keep. Yes, sir. I sealed the breach, but we're still going to drop the pod just in case. So I guess we're not done yet because we still didn't recover the artifact. There is no way to save it, General? We have done all we can. Once the lift broke away, we lost all hope of regaining the pod. We must cut our losses before the aliens find a way to spread to the other pods. And what of the creature I saw? It would seem that it found what it was looking for. What about those remaining in the pod? They are already dead. Sever the pod, General. I like how they're just literally suspended by wires. There's no solid support. Okay, that was the end of the campaign. We found out the mystery of how- <laughs> Fucking- So abrupt. We found out the mystery of how Pod 5 ended up on the ground. Wasn't a mystery at all. So, I believe the Predator that came in and stole the artifact is the one we're gonna be playing as in the Predator campaign. However, I'm pretty sure that Predator is going to die as well, based on what I read of the synopsis. But yeah, I guess uh, next time we'll be going into the Predator campaign and playing as the Ancient Predator from 500 years ago. But until then, thank you for joining me for this awful section of AVP2 Primal Hunt. Hopefully the Predator section's better, and I don't have to use that pistol that blows me up. <laughs> and until next time, you all take care.